Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. So in our channel, we are going to start about a new series discuss where we will be discussing about network security completely. So in this series, lecture one series, we are going to see, see need for security. So come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So starting let us let us rule out why we need a security it can be any kind of security it may be based on protocols or it might be based on any set of algorithm that is made to work so obviously when there is an increase in the technology obviously we have to look into the security that you have to give for the technology so now here you can uh, see a series of network security like physical security, personal security, operation security, network security and information security. So all these securities will deal with different kinds of securities that is produced when a data transmission is taking place between a client and the server. So just in a simple word you can put forth that network security is nothing but a protocol or an algorithm that we follow to protect the data that is transmitted through the network between two ends and these are the different securities we can list under network security so now we have seen what is network security now going deep into each definition the three definition that we clearly need to know is about computer security, network security and internet security. So seeing the diagram, you can tell that computer security is nothing but it will protect the data from the hackers. So you have a system with n number of data stored in it. So you will be protecting each and every data in the file with password. Why? so that the hackers uh, do not hack the data that is stored in the PCs. So such, such type of security is known as computer security. So what is network security then? When you're protecting the data available in the computer, obviously you have to protect the data while transmitting from one end to the other end. So if I'm communicating with my client, so I have to make sure that the data that I am sending to my client is completely protected during the transmission. No hackers are entering into the uh, network and stealing the data. So providing some measure of protecting the data during the transmission is said to be the network security. And internet security is nothing but when there is collection of nodes available. So here, in network is nothing but from one end to the other end through a network, you have to protect the data. Here, it is not one end to the other end. You will have n number of nodes connected to a hub. So when communicating to different nodes through hub, it is mandatory for, for the user or the server to maintain a security. So when you concentrate on such security, then it is known as internet security right next so here you can see your client and a server is available and you have a server database where the server fetches all the data or it stores all the data sent from the client so every data and the information will be available in this database now when a client is approaching a server see it is assigned with its own customer id order id item id and credit card number so best example which i can tell you is when you purchase uh, some uh, shopping uh, when you do uh, shopping in online platform like amazon flipkart so there when you when you start searching and uh, go for proceeding to buy the um, I mean shop the uh, things what happens is you will be given with customer id order id and item id separately so based on this the server will recognize that for these id this credit card is being used to take the data so or else this credit card number will be stored in the server so with this credit card number they will track the id of the customer and from once the id of the customer is tracked they may obviously know the item ordered 
right so this is how the transaction is been from one end to the other end we have seen what is security why we need security now obviously security is required you can tell yes security is needed because we have lots of threats hackers who is hacking the data yes so it is not that it is only one threat that is happening in the real time scenario there are n number of threats happening in day to day scenario so what is threat it is nothing but it is a danger it can be of any object or people or a person or an organization who is trying to hack the data of another organization or some other system so there are many threats like email threat ransomware virus and worm torsion horse or insider abuse of network access so these are the common threats that you can see and these are the threats which is in a form of software which is developed in a form of software which attacks a computer system so such type of thing is also known as threats so when there is threats there there will be some categories of threats why it is happening might be it will be because of human error or failure like if you don't protect your password you just log in into and close the system obviously it is hacked whenever the other person opens the system your gmail or your account will be logged in so it is because of human error and compromises to the intellectual property so this is nothing but when you own a particular uh, uh, software or particular application you are supposed to protect everything regarding that so it is uh, it is that like you get the property rights but that you are not using that property in a proper way and might be because of that or software attack like uh, virus or worm getting into the system or if you don't have a good quality of services obviously that happens and if suppose if there is a hardware or software design failure that also will lead to a, a big error so when hardware or software it is wrongly done wrongly coded then you are you are actually giving a way to the hackers to enter into the system to provide threats for you so this is why because of many threats happening we need security when there are many threats we will be classifying small small attacks what is happening around us so the nature of attacks that we can see is automating attacks privacy concerns and distance does not matter so these are some nature of attacks that you can see so when you are considering automating attack what happens is it is not like a software that is coded to hack the complete system it is just like that which happens so when you have a, a complete system so for example when you see this you can see a uh, a man who is thinking of and here they are telling that there is a modern attack of stealing some dollar amount now i will tell you a best example for automating uh, attacks so when you have a dmat account or when you when you own an organization uh, you suppose your organization is in a well position you are uh, you are uh, in a place where you can sell your shares so when you sell your shares it is not that you are completely providing it to the public you yourself will own the shares and you can play a game that even when uh, persons are investing in the shares with uh, the profit that they get you can hack some amount and you can also see profit in that so such kind of attack is said to be automating attack that is you are seeing you are making use of people to get profit but then you are still using their profit also so such kind of thing is known as automatic attack and privacy concern so privacy concern is nothing but when you and me are talking with each other through whatsapp then it should not be it, it is like confidential between you and me so some uh, hackers what they will do is they will take those confidential data and completely misuse that so when you, when they misuse that there is a huge problem that might occur so they will completely gather the information sort the information according to what we need see if uh, your facebook works so or your instagram works so when you start searching something it takes that algorithm and it sort it sort it out and give you the best result that it can right like whenever you are uh, searching uh, or uh, seeing the feeds in the facebook you can uh, notice that n number of feeds that you have already seen or in your mind will appear 
and next is distant does not matter so distance does not matter is obviously yes so uh, see bank ha hacking system those days we had we have to go in person to the bank deposit the amount now it is not so so distance does not matter because the attacker will sit at one end and digitally see what is happening inside the bank only if if he uh, takes the control of bank server obviously the data that is f uh, fed the, through the network having a modem in a computer system obviously the attacker will take the data from the modem or the bank server it is not that the attacker has to go personally to the bank hack the amount no now it everything is digitalized so digitally the attacker also will sit at one point and hack the developer code developer software uh, enter into that server crash it take all the data that's it it's gone so this is how th there are kinds of attacks that is happening around us stay tuned for more information thank you